Hi, welcome back to my channel and my review for this new horror film, Long Legs, directed by Oz Perkins. So until about two weeks ago, I'd never heard anything about this movie. I went to see Maxine and this was one of the featured trailers for it. And I swear, since I left the cinema that day, my feed, you know, the horror community as a whole, all of the movie review sites, I've just seen nothing but buzz around this movie. So many people giving it so much praise, saying it's a massive throwback to the vibe of kind of films like Silence of the Lambs, which as you can see on my wall right here, uh, a movie that I absolutely love to death, one of my favourites. So my interest was definitely peaked and I wanted to quickly get out to see it uh, before I managed to bump into any of the spoilers. So you've got a fairly familiar storyline here in which you're following this young FBI agent who has been put on the lead of a case to track down this very deranged serial killer. And as the case progresses, she gets more and more obsessed, more and more entangled with the case, and these things take her to a very dark place. So this is, you know, very much a tried and tested formula for these type of serial killer stories. Uh, but even though it has been done before, and as a lot of people have mentioned already, obvious, obvious similarities to movies like Silence of the Lambs. Uh, but this is a storyline that always really entices me. I find them very exciting to follow along with. Just watching kind of, you know, creepy serial killer storylines do really get under my skin. It's probably one of the scariest uh, subgenres of horror, I think. And I love kind of watching stories about characters getting obsessed and putting everything to the side and willing to go to the ends of the earth, give everything up just to solve this case they're obsessed with. They're just storylines that really interest me. So and whilst I don't think it quite lives up to the hype, I don't think it quite deserves all of the praise that it's getting. It's certainly not as good as something like Silence of the Lambs. But that being said, I do think this is a really strong horror movie. Uh, it's done in quite a unique way. It's got an amazing atmosphere. And if you're into these kind of stories, if you find this kind of subject matter interesting, I would definitely recommend you go and see this whilst it's still in the cinemas. I particularly enjoyed the first half of this movie when it's delving into the whole mystery surrounding the case and uncovering all of the grisly details surrounding these killings and they're trying to, you know, they're starting to learn more and more details to finding out why this person is doing what they're doing and how they're getting away with it. I kind of loved the unravelling of that mystery. Like for those of you that have Netflix you'll have seen over the last few years that there has been tons of these, you know, murder mystery documentaries, serial killer documentaries and when you start to get into the details of those a lot of it can be really unnerving very uncomfortable to watch and it often really does get under your skin because they're really you know something because it's real it really sort of gets to you and i feel like uh, this movie does an amazing job of really kind of setting up one of these serial killer characters. Yeah, again, when it is on that mystery side of things, just the way it's filmed, the sound design, the setup of the scenes where everything's very slow burn, everything's done in these great big wide shots. Uh, so whenever you're following a character, there's always like this big background area behind you where you constantly feel like something's going to jump out or something's going to move behind the characters you're watching. So it, it's quite an anxiety inducing watch. And that's really what made me enjoy the experience so much. As I say, particularly in that first half where everything is still in the shadows, they're uncovering all these bizarre details. That for me was when it was at its most exciting. I really, really love Maika Monroe as an actress. I saw her first off in It Follows, which is an incredible horror film. And in some ways she plays a bit of a similar character to here where it's one of those type of characters where you know they're going through a lot, like she plays these kind of tortured souls really well where a lot of that is not conveyed through the dialogue but it's all in the way she reacts to certain situations, it's what you can see in her eyes, the way you can tell she's feeling about certain things, not being entirely honest, keeping things to herself and I think she always does an amazing job of portraying those kind of characters. I just think she was a perfect fit for this role and there was something interesting about the way they wrote her here as well as as she becomes more and more involved in this case you can tell that she has 
more of an awareness of what's going on than she lets on. And, you know, normally in a film like this, that would be something that they would tell you later on in the story. It's almost sort of a reveal. Uh, but I like what they do here is the fact that she has some kind of awareness about what's going on, it actually makes the whole story even more unnerving. And because she's quite a closed off person, you don't really get to know her until sort of later on in the story. I just think it adds to the whole vibe and uncomfortable atmosphere of the film. So something about that combination of her, the way the character was written, it just works so well. Of course, I'm sure what a lot of people will be looking forward to in this movie is seeing Nicolas Cage as a serial killer. And does he go subtle with it? Absolutely not. You know, he's really, really over the top, really crazy and does quite an amazing job with it. It's pretty, it's pretty fascinating to watch. And this is why kind of points getting into the second half of the film that there is a little bit of a... I would say kind of a tonal shift in how the movie feels in that I thought it was still really interesting. I love what they did with it and it made it feel very unique. But the second half is quite different. Again, it's kind of, you know, like with Silence of the Lambs, how early on you're kind of learning about this serial killer of Buffalo Bill and you know you feel like as a character that maybe they're going to show you towards the end and kind of big them up but actually they they reveal them quite early on you think oh is all the tension gone from that now then now that you've seen them and you know who they are but actually because they're such disturbed and unnerving characters kind of getting to know them more in a way can actually even be scarier in some instances so I they kind of tried to do that here where halfway through it's no longer sort of a mystery anymore and you're actually kind of getting to know the serial killer and seeing how they work and why they're doing what they're doing and of course Nicolas Cage is just always extremely entertaining to watch I think maybe some elements uh, some of it's maybe a little bit over the top um, I was still enjoying watching it, but I felt like sometimes the film in the first half is so serious. It takes itself very, very seriously. And there's some really crazy moments in the second half, which can at times make you feel like you're watching a slightly different movie. So I'll be interested to see what people's experience with that will be. I think I can see why some people wouldn't like it. And I think some people are going to absolutely love it. But I really like to see Nicolas Cage play more of these wild roles. And I think he was a really interesting fit to play this serial killer. So this really is an intriguing horror movie and it's really uniquely done as well. So if you're curious at all about seeing it, I really would highly recommend that you go and watch Long Legs. I don't really want to get into too many more details here just because in order to talk about this film in any more detail, you really have to kind of go into the spoilers and the detail of the plot. Uh, but there is one thing towards the end which I do want to talk about my feelings on. I will say this is a mild spoiler warning from here. So in a few seconds, I'm going to start talking about some elements of the ending. I'm not going to give it all away, but I'm just going to talk about a few elements of it. So if you really don't want to know any more than the details I've spoken about already, then please do come back to this video after you've seen the movie. Okay, so getting into that now. Um, whilst I thought the ending was really effectively done where they end up you know, when, when you start to find out about what Nicolas Cage's character is really doing, how he's been getting away with these killings, how he's managing to do it, and the explanation behind all of that, whilst I thought it was effective, it was quite scary in some ways, and I really did think the final sequence in particular is really wild and well done. Uh, I did like it, but on some level, I wanted it to not have a supernatural conclusion. So, you know, when you're getting into the start of the story and finding out this case, it really unnerved me. And I was thinking, I was really intrigued to know what the conclusion, what the answer to this was going to be. I, I was really trying to guess where it was going because there was something very uncomfortable about it. And I was just so intrigued to find out, you know, how he'd been doing these killings. And it turns out to have basically a supernatural involvement, like a devil worshipping, a cult type thing going, a cult type thing going on there. And I'm in two minds about it. For a lot of people who kind of get sucked into that sort of stuff and really buy into it, will probably find that particularly unnerving, and and it will really get to them and it will really work. I have no doubt. And as I say, they do execute it well. Just part of me really wanted it to stay as a grounded story, something that could take place within reality. So. I'm kind of in two minds about that ending. So I'll be very interested to hear all of your thoughts down below on that once you've seen this movie. Uh, but it's definitely one that I 
tree to watch again that's for sure and i would say not that we've had loads of good horror movies out this year so far but this is the one that stuck with me the most i'm the most interested to talk about this one and i do understand why lots of people are raving about it online it's a, it's a pretty interesting movie so definitely worth your time checking this horror movie out if it's your sort of thing so i am going to give this one a four out of five rating so that's all my thoughts for you on long legs please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below please like and subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying my content and i'll see you next time